Hello beauties, welcome back to another Sephora best of haul for their beauty insider sale. All the details are gonna be down here. Fel and I have a lot of goodies for you guys. From skincare of course, to hair care, and makeup. I was in there the other day just to like restock on some stuff and boy is it a confusing place which is why this video is for you. Just a little note, we do have like three or four other ones from previous years. All of those products still stand so we're not going to mention any of those. We're here to discover more. So bro, let's take it away. But before you do that, please subscribe and join Beauty Within. We've talked about this a lot, Fel, of how as I'm getting older, my dry skin is becoming a lot more oily, and as you're getting older, your oily skin is getting a lot more dry. So the first set of products I wanna talk about is for pore care. The first is a happy accident. I went in looking for the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector Stick. I got the Instant Pore Perfector instead, but this is amazing. By accident. By accident. I was gonna get the stick, but I got this because the packaging looks absolutely the same. <laughs> so, Dude, I think you're lucky because I went in and tried that because I saw it on your list and then I put it on and I was like, what is this? And we'll put it in the clip because Amber was recording and I was like, why did Ro want this? It's so weird. And I was like, how do you use it? Wait, that's intense. That is supposed to be on like a leave-on spot treatment that you rinse off. Uh, so it might be like a clay stick. Sense. It was so dry. Yeah. Oh, it it's so dry. dry. Okay, maybe not. So I dodged a bullet there, but I got this guy. It's what I'm wearing right now. And my makeup has not looked better. I've been playing around with a bunch of different primers. We're gonna talk about the Glow Recipe one in a sec because it's Fel's favorite. What's in it? There's hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, mushroom extract. There's a lot of skincare ingredients that are good for your pores. It's very interesting because the color and the smell you just don't expect something like this to do much. It's supposed to be like anti-redness and also like diffusing and blurring of the pores. And it smells like chocolate. You know, like the, the Hershey's chocolate bars, they have like a very distinct chocolate taste. It's like a little artificial. Yeah. The lines and everything are blurred. With makeup, and you guys know all I use is the Eborian CC cream. I'm like, it looks great. So you put that on like after your moisturizer? I use it before. Cream. I use it as a serum. It's a mattifying serum? For the life of it, it doesn't say primer anywhere. For the life of it, it doesn't say huh. serum anywhere. It's just. Huh. Wait, actually. It says, hmm, I just didn't read. It says apply as a final step before makeup application. Using fingertips, gently press product into dry skin, focusing on areas within large pores. I mean, I use that as a serum and I think it's fine. Mm, but yes. Okay, so it's kind of like in that primer step. It is a primer. That's so interesting that it was that color though, because I was like, that looks like a mud mask. We were gonna make a video about skincare hybrids of how it's like it gives you instant effects, but it also has long-term benefits. So that really is what this is and it says on the side. Instant benefit, long-term treatment. I guess just quickly, because you mentioned it, I feel like this is a good time if you've been on the fence about trying the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHJ Pore Smooth Blur Drops. This might be the time. It is $32. I couldn't wrap my head around what it was supposed to be at the beginning. I was like, is it more of a serum or is it more of a dematifying product? And I think I've worked out how I can best use it in my routine with a gel moisturizer. So yeah, it's really lightweight. It uses the ingredients of rice and tapioca powder. And what that does is slowly soak up any excess sebum throughout the day, but it's not going to be like a totally mattifying ingredient. It just helps subtly. And then you can even tell like, you know, when you first put it on, if you only put it on half the side and put a normal serum on the other side, you will see that this one just has a softened, like soft focus look to it because of those oil absorbing powders. So it's also got BHA. And although I wouldn't use this for like breakouts and targeting breakouts. It's kind of like a nice added extra to go along with oily skin because oily skin can also be problematic and acne prone. And so it's kind of like covering all those bases, which is why I think it's a pretty innovative product. Nothing else kind of like 
compares but also with that it was a little bit confusing at the beginning it's like what are you trying to be mm. but yeah i think we figured out how to use it in mm. our routine like you use it with the super goop glow yes. uh, what is it unseen um i use it with a new moisturizer that i discovered i actually really enjoy this it just gives you enough but you still if you're oily you need to blot throughout the day it's not gonna like manage that much and then this also works for dry skin I think the founders of Glow Recipe say if you do have dry skin, it's better to just focus on the T-zone. I just put it all over my face, but I also think that my face has gotten a bit more oily and yeah, you can use it as a serum or as like a primer after you moisturize. Since we're on Glow Recipe, the new one, let's talk about the pomegranate peptide firming serum. I haven't tried this one yet. <gasps> really? I haven't gotten it. Okay. Here's what I think, Glow Recipe, to me, when they hit it, they smash it. And when it doesn't work, it kind of just like, I forget about it. So there's been a few that I'm like, yeah, I don't understand. And maybe that's just because it's like my skin type doesn't really suit it. But their serums, you guys know how much I love the Avocado Ceramide Serum. That's like one of my holy grails that I've talked about for years. This has exactly the same texture as it, which is why you might See from my tone, I love it. This one's a smashed. I love it. <laughs> it's a smash because it's this lightweight, milky texture, super lightweight. If you guys like the avocado ceramide, you will love this. Peptides are great just for anyone. All skin types can enjoy it. It's just got a really faint smell. So it's nothing like, you know, when they first came out with the watermelon, it was like watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really toned down kind of similar to the plum plum mm -hmm. uh, serum that yeah. they have that one's really subtle in scent this one is a little bit different it's really nourishing but lightweight it's very great you look very on brand with it like your lip color your short <laughs> color <laughs> solid colors <laughs> it's $45 once again, I think we always mention that Glow Recipe is a great brand to try during the Sephora sales because you get a discount. I will say compared to the Caudalie. Have you tried the Caudalie? I have. I think it's like any other Caudalie serum in terms of texture, which is beautiful. I don't think I've used it long enough to actually know because I'm still using the Isentree Retinol 1%. So I just want to show you how similar in terms of like milky, mm -hmm. runny consistencies they both are. So this is the Caudalie and this is the Glow Recipe. Did we even say what it is? Okay, no. this is the Resveratrol <laughs> Lift Firming Retinol Alternative Serum and it's $84. So here's what you need to know. So resveratrol and the grape seed ingredient is what Caudalie is known for. This also has hyaluronic acid as well as vegan collagen. And they're kind of positioning themselves as a retinol alternative that can give you three times more benefits than what retinol can do to firm and lift. Purely from the humble from grape. The grape. <laughs> and they do have studies, like they worked with Harvard to like prove that the grape seed does indeed have a lot of antioxidants so much so that it can like you know help with signs of aging plump fine lines and so i feel like this is the route of like a gentle way to plump fine lines versus retinol which is a chemical like more of that heavy hitting study mm -hmm. heavy hitting studies if you can't use retinol and you're looking for those plumping firming qualities then oh. maybe this if you're not gonna get this one, you can definitely get this one because Ro and I love it. <laughs> it's, it's the almost brightening. <laughs> yeah, we've gone through like so many of these for overall brightening and evening out of complexion. And then you can pair this with the vitamin C, which is like double the brightening effects. On the days that I don't use this spray, I just feel empty inside <laughs> after my shower. Mm. I've like developed this kind of conditioning around this <laughs> elixir spray. Jen, if you're okay. watching this, you have to copy and paste that. That is that is a that is a <laughs> that is a quotable. <laughs> Since we're on the topic of serums and exfoliating and brightening and everything, the herbivore Milky Way. This just looks so beautiful and iridescent that honestly, the packaging got me. <laughs> like I'm not better than you the know packaging. What? <laughs> Brought back to 2018, yeah. where there was that mask that you yes, used. Yes, the blue tansy mask. This one, 
I'm still trying it, which is like the biggest disclaimer. So I don't know full thoughts yet, but the reason why I was attracted to it was that it had 10% AHA and oat. So this is a very soothing while also exfoliating serum, which is something that I think we're gonna see a lot more of. You want to have the benefits of an active ingredient, but you also want it to not be stripping of your skin and to not like destroy your skin barrier. It's more like a lotion-y consistency. And then I will say this, most clean products will have the clean effect, which what I mean is it will probably streak a little. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this will be with prolonged use. Because we haven't heard of Herbivore as a brand for so long. Like, what do you think this new product that kind of came out of nowhere stands? The thing is, I feel like Herbivore's been around for, like, they, they still kept going. They have a whole range of products at Sephora. When I saw, I was like, oh my goodness. It's beautiful color, beautiful packaging. And then another quick thing to also say in passing, since we're just in the exfoliating realm, is the Alpine Beauty. Is that how you pronounce it? Al. Pine. Yeah. I'm getting reassurance from Fel and it's not being reassured. <laughs> this is their- I think it's Alpine. Okay. Alpine Beauty Pore Perfecting Liquid with 2% BHA and Barrage. If you want a more fun alternative to Paula's Choice, because this isn't much cheaper than the Paula's Choice, is $39. 2% BHA, same as Paula's Choice. It has a lot more like flower extract and seed oils to help round out this product. And it does have like a minty cooling effect. So if you're not into that, do not use this. If you like that, if you want it. And I think, especially during the summertime, this will be great. Cause it just feels That's like- what this one gives. Yeah. I haven't experienced that in skincare in a long time. And it just reminded me of toothpaste, but it's okay. It's just getting used to. It's like at the right amount, it's really good. Yeah. And then this works really well under like essence or like thicker serums, moisturizers. And I do feel like my pores are less congested. Rose, this product got best of beauty. It was in part of the best of beauty allure 2023. Ooh. When I was thinking about what to say when I was gonna talk about this product, I saw a reel from Beauty Within with Felicia talking about how to actually wash your face and how if you don't wash your face properly, there's this thing that happens where like dead skin cells just kind of pack. They like stay on your face. You have this thicker layer of like dead skin cells and whatever on your face, then normal products that used to work for you will not work because it's not able to penetrate as deeply into your skin. So chemical exfoliating products can be great in that regard. I'm slowly but surely yeah. reintroducing all of them into my life after not really using any of these things for a few years, actually. Oh my yeah. god, right? I've also experienced that where I can't just be so lazy with my skin anymore because if I do forego a step, like I see it. I wake up and I'm like, girl, what happened? <laughs> but like, I think it's because, you know, as we age, in a natural process, the skin regeneration like slows down. And so that dead skin is just not able to kind of resurface as quickly mm. like before. Subconsciously, both of us have been like starting to get more into chemical exfoliants. Like I've used it three days in a row this week because I'm like, why is the skin not coming out? <laughs> I'm gonna go, did I forget? what I think you guys need to try from Tau 28. So this is the Tau 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This spray is intense. Just beware. It's like, <laughs> gets me every day. I think any of you who have really sensitive skin, who have acne prone skin, who have broken skin barrier, and you don't like fragrance, you don't like any of the those like things, you'll really need this spray because it's got hypochlorous acid and it's not like a chemical exfoliating acid. It's basically something that our immune system naturally creates because it's like sodium. And it does a multitude of different things like heal your wounds. And I'm specifically using it for this cluster of pimples, but it just helped me like disinfect 
that acne prone area. Also, if you think it tastes like salt, you'd be right. I went to the optometrist and she said I can disinfect my eyelid area with hypochlorous acid. I was like, wait, I use this as a spray. She's like, yeah, it's the same thing. They're just like made in different doses. And so, yeah, this is something that can help you with a face rash. And Lord knows I get face rashes every like two months. <laughs> okay, so then within the range of the Tower 28 skincare, they have the serum and then the daily barrier recovery cream. We talked about this in our last skincare updates. It's just kind of like the most basic moisturizer in the best way. Mm -hmm. You need to strip it all back. And then this Tau 28 serum is also within that line. I haven't actually used much of this serum, but the consistency is really gorgeous. It's like a glass skin. So depending on what it is that you currently need in your routine, you don't need to buy all of these. I just personally love toners and so I love toner sprays and would recommend this. But one thing that I did find out because I talked to the Element guy and you guys actually suggested and he was like hypochlorous acid works as a singular function. So it helps fight anti-inflammatory and bacteria and everything like that. But if you mix active ingredients into it, it will neutralize the active ingredient. So don't use this in conjunction with like a vitamin C serum or a BHA because it would just like nullify it. So that's just something to note about hypochlorous acid on the days that you do need to like rebuild everything. Just keep it super simple with like ceramides and things like that. Any sensitive girlies out there, this is for you. Hey, if you want to start on the moisturizer train, I have got some moisturizers. I didn't realize I had so many moisturizers, but me neither. Guys, we have suggestions for you. The holy grail of this summer has been the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. The baby one is emptied. This baby one was the one I got from the um, the getting a routine under $50 at Sephora video. If you guys haven't watched that yet, yeah. we'll link it. And then this bigger one I actually got during the Amazon Prime Day sale. It's like, it's almost gone. Like with the move, with like the transition, I just forgot about this guy. And then one day I was like, I just want a really simple moisturizer that gets the job done, that's very hydrating, that is very plush, but then it doesn't make me feeling oily and I don't wake up feeling like a grease ball. This is it. And I just, Love the way that it applies. I love the way that it feels on my skin. I love the way that it's thick without being suffocating. Like it's actually not thick at all. But when I say thick, it's like it, it coats your skin beautifully, especially if you have drier skin. And the blue hyaluronic acid is just supposed to help penetrate even deeper into the laser of your skin to really give you that hydration. So this is Amazing. So something to note about the water bank is that there is the gel version and they also went through a fermentation of the deep sea algae of this as well. So I think yours is like classically creamy. This has little melting beads in it for a slightly more combination oily skin. So depending on what it is, you got something for you. I haven't used this guy in forever, but the Solasu Concentrated Ginseng Cream is gonna make a comeback very soon in my routine. If you don't buy this for yourself because it is really expensive, I actually have a lot of friends asking me if they should get it for their parents. Yes, if there's mother figures in your life, you can even get that a little set. Awesome. Yes, because of- Froth they, at the mouth. They all know. Of all the higher end creams we've tried, both Fel and I agree for both of our very different skin types that this works. Like, Are you using the Renew Cream Classic? Because there's also something to note, there's two. Yes, the cream classic. This is the time to early buy for Christmas. So get all your gifts ready. And you'll be the girl who's like, I'm done. And it's like the beginning of December. <laughs> exactly. And then one quick line to shout out that's within the moisturizer family is the Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution Hydro Pump Water Cream. Guys, Hail Hydra. do you, yes, it's in the blue, it's in the t color of the Tesseract too. I'm in this color too. Okay, so do you remember I talked about this years ago 
when I came back from Korea. I got it from Korea before it was available in the States and this essence or this toner it came with like a little pump that you're supposed to drop in and it smelled like coconuts and you're supposed to shake it Do oh you... and it had like bubbles and yes stuff. and it was in yeah. more of like a matte lighter blue container so yeah. they brought it over to the states i'm pretty sure they reformulated because the dropper no longer exists this is just like a very hydrating line of products it really is just hyaluronic acid and one of their proprietary ingredients pentavitin pentavitin we'll put on screen what that is so i think this cream it definitely is more of a jelly consistency and then it is like very water bursting very 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 light it just feels like water being like <laughs> onto your skin i don't know how like else better to describe it yes like tatcha so this i would highly recommend but probably a lot better during the warmer months or like as a day cream so this is 36 dollars. this is 34 dollars. this line is something i wish i had when i was growing up so there's that i also have three okay so this one from Adam, I'm not gonna talk too much about, but I love it. This is the Cloud Cushion Airy Brightening Moisturizer. There's a bunch of peptides, ceramides. It gives your skin the, this like plush cloud marshmallow effect. And I love using it. And look, it's like empty. Oh my God, so excited. So I saw they actually have a Bare Skin Confidence Brightening Trio Kit in store that includes the moisturizer a balm and their serum so i'm definitely gonna get that now these two are kind of the more recent discoveries i wanted to try this because it's the charlotte's magic water cream everyone knows about that viral magic cream but it was way too thick for me if i were to use it it would just be like a little littlest dab and it would spread over um i still have that but when i heard she came out with a water cream i'm like i'm on it so I got the mini version. This one's $30. The full size is $100. So the thing is, like, price-wise, it doesn't make sense to me. But the cream itself is beautiful. You know what it reminds me of? You know that Make Prem moisturizer mm -hmm. you used to love? Mm -hmm. How it's like that glossy moisturizer. Yes. And when you put it on, it just, like, coats your skin. And it doesn't feel heavy. And it's so silky that's what this feels like compared to something like your dr jart one that you just mentioned where it's a true gel i would say this one's a little bit more than that which makes it a really good face mm. under makeup to really hydrate and nourish the skin so that it's plump it looks healthy i went in here wanting to not enjoy it because it is i feel like a little bit expensive for what it we is do that but then lot. also looking at the yeah so the ingredients also have something pretty interesting to set it apart. It's got a water locking infusion technology that's trademarked. It's a combination of a thing called hydrogen, aquaporin, and beta-glucan. So a blend of those, as well as biopeptides, niacinamide, it's got aloe extract, squalane, vitamin E, and some other oil extracts. So it's actually very like coating, but not suffocating. If you love Charlotte Tilbury, you want to try something new from her in the skincare line because you know normally makeup brands aren't necessarily the greatest place to look for skincare products it's like stay in your lane type of thing but this one's actually pretty good or um, if you have a bestie with oily skin and you want to give them a little gift the little 30 dollar one's a cute stocking stuff stuffer stocking stuffer it is <gasps> tell them it's got this trademarked hydrogen Hydrogen thing from France. <laughs> so then my last moisturizer is actually from a brand called Lawless. So they sent you have it too, right? I you do. I, I misplaced the moisturizer, but the lip and the lip liner. Oh my lordy, you talk about oh it first. Oh my god. Yeah, so it was actually through this guy there, the forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask. Like how good is it, bro? It is I used it thinking like, meh, let's see what it's gonna do. I woke yeah. up being like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> you know what's amazing about this? It's thick, but it's not sticky. Yeah. Sometimes those overnight lip, and it's got just the right amount of that menthol feeling. I've never felt such 
an exciting bomb. <laughs> Yeah, because they're either too sticky, like the Tatcha Kisu is like, it just gets everywhere, or it just claims it does a lot, but it just sits on your lip skin and does absolutely nothing. This one like is thick, but not sticky. It stays on, but it also like penetrates to like plump. So like coming from Ro, yeah. a person who loves lip, me, yes. a person who does not like lip because it's too sticky, like this is, Perfect, guys. Try this from the Lawless brand. So going back to moisturizer, that was when I was like, oh my god, I need to try more from this brand. And so they have the Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. So they all have a slight pink shade to this. Oh my god, this is so smooth. So I think they developed this as the best base for makeup, right? Because they do makeup products, but after looking into it, there's just like multiple ways that you can use this. Like for dry skin, you can use it over your moisturizer just to like fill in the cracks of flaky areas. If you're oily skin, you can use it, you know, obviously as a moisturizer, but it's there to really plump and fill in lines. And it is so smooth. And I looked into the ingredients. They have something called Maxi Youth. It's a combination of different peptides that form together to give you like skin strengthening, skin repairing benefits, but it's also got panthenol and black tea ferment filtrate. So the humble packaging, don't underestimate it because it is so smooth. It's like a primer moisturizer, but also a standalone overnight moisturizing mask as well. Mm. So however you want to use it, so good. The lip liners! The oh lip liner is so beautiful. I used it today and just the way Same. that like it just like it is buttery smooth. It's called the Creamy Smooth Glide Ultra Pigmented Forget the Filler Define Aligner. And they don't play when they're talking about Smooth Glide Ultra Pigmented. There are no lies in those words. No lies, absolutely <laughs> no lies. My favorite shade is Pink Slip, which is a really pretty pink. Universally, I think it's it kind of reminds me, it's a little bit darker than the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk, but still very pretty pink. And then a more slightly mauve version of that pink is the Pink Sand. Mm. So these two are my fave. And then they have all these shades. The one that I've used the most is the Velvet Peach. And then it has this like Velvet. peachy, it's a bit more like corally peachy. It's my color oh, for the summer. And you can fill your whole lip with it too. You can, very easily with one glide. I just went like this to my bottom lip and I'm, that's, that's, that's it. Because some lip liners are so dry. They are. No, th see, that's the thing. Like, because when you put on lip liner, it's best to put it on dry lips. But a lot of times when my lip is chapped and it's flaking and you put on lip liner, it doesn't look cute. But this guy, it, it just horrible glides on. As we're on lip, let's just focus on lip and slowly trickle into makeup before we move into hair. There's a lot of really amazing hair care products that Fel and I want to share. Everybody. So don't go anywhere. Kind of adding on to the Lawless, I like still very much in love with the Laneige. And then they've always had this little set during the holidays that I usually always just gift to friends because I'm like, eh, I don't like it. But now that I love it and I fell in love with this, like yeah, a year. Yeah, I was like, I thought you didn't like that one. Whatever they did with it, the first iteration that I tried years ago, maybe in 2016, did not like. But the one that I tried last year, oh my God, I'm still using it and it's very, very, very well loved and well used. This is what I use every single night. Something new that I tried, the Kosis. They have a plump and juicy lip booster. This is also surprisingly lit like i love how this feels on my lip i love how nourishing it is on its own also if you've been eyeing this and you're like i wonder if it works rowena loves this rowena's dry lips approves of this when i'm feeling it i'll line my lip when i'm just lazy and on the go i'll use the merit this is their like tinted lip oil in cara 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 what is it cara cara <laughs> <That's so sh> <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> so whatever this shade is, I'll use this as the base. It, it's beautiful. And then I'll put the Dior Lip Glow Oil on top. This is in Coral. This I would get normally, but it's just nicer when it's on sale. This is like already my second one. The Dior Lip Oil, I think it's like in the $30, $40 range. Definitely more expensive, definitely more of a nice to have, but I do really like it. And for me to justify prolonging the use, the way that I use it is I never put it directly on my lip. I also don't want color to transfer because it's usually going on top of something. I'll just put it on my finger and then just dab it on. And it looks great. Okay, so now we move to the showers. I want to talk about this one. This is body. And I don't know if you saw this in my shower when you were over. It's called Honey. This is their splash cell. So what it is, is it's like a balm, right? Which smells divine, by the way. I think really dry skin people, or like if you have really dry knees, elbows, legs, I use this on my legs. You can use it anywhere on your body. But what you do is you cleanse your body, you do your whole showering routine, and right before you get out, you take a scoop of this and rub it over just the areas that get really dry. And then you just step back into the water for like 10 seconds and you don't wash it off. You just let the residual leave and then you get out of the shower and just pat dry. And this is like an in shower deep conditioning moisturizer for your skin. And I was like, whoa. I wonder if that can allow me to not moisturize when I get out of the shower, like when I lotion my whole body. Yeah. No, next time you come, you have to try okay. it. The only thing I don't know if everyone will be on board is like, you know how smell is very personal? Mm. It's like very sweet and fragrant. If you don't like it, then you probably won't use it, right? But I don't know, I love it. It's huh, we'll check it out. Okay, hair. I have two and a half things. I have half a thing. Because <laughs> it's the mini. <laughs> so we combined have three things. I think I want to first talk about this guy. So this is Fable and Maine. They actually sent this to me a long time ago when I was still living in New York. This is their Holy Roots hair oil. And a few weeks ago, my hair just got so itchy all of a sudden. I think the weather here was really hot and it was really cold and then it's really hot again. So my scalp was like, what is going on? I washed my hair in the evening and it already smelled in the morning by the time I woke up. I was like, like okay, I think I need a deep conditioning of my scalp. We're starting to work on this video. So I was like, okay, let me look up products on Sephora that I wanna try. I saw that they're on Sephora. So I was like, wait, I think I have this in my little cubby. Let me just give it a try. I looked into the ingredients. It is amazing. This is all inspired by ancient Indian hair secrets. And I feel like when you look at Indian women's locks, they are gorgeous and so yeah, thick like and so full and so beautiful. And there's also ashwagandha in here as well as dashmul. I hope I said that right. It's basically a blend of 10 roots that have been around for ages and it's to help really soothe and calm the scalp. I think it's just like a hair spa. You can leave it in for five minutes and rinse it out or you can leave it in overnight, which is what they recommend. And when I left it in and when I washed it out, my hair, my scalp felt amazing. Feeling of like the strands of hair were less frizzy. My scalp was less itchy and just like so soothed. And the thing is the smell of this also, I don't know, do you have it? The smell of it is amazing. It's like a slightly... I have a smooth and shine. So they must have two different hair oils. I'm like actually really excited to try all their stuff because they have so much. They do. If you guys heard of this brand, if you guys haven't heard of this brand, if you're on the fence, definitely worth checking out. This is $36 and I feel like this will last quite a long time. Moving on to the second product, the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. Using this and this has been absolutely game-changing together. So the three-in-one is like many things. It like helps defrizz, it helps with styling. If you do end up blowing out your hair, it can also help retain your curls if you have more curly hair. For me, I feel like because my hair is already healthier with this, when I put this in and when I blow dry it, it is like, I don't even need to style my hair. 
That's when you know it's good hair Especially products. if you have like very floofy hair and especially because I cut it I just got like a new haircut you can't tell now but it's like the wolf cut and it's like very very layered so it just without styling products or without these products it just kind of like I look like a wet dog this just looks beautiful. Everything from day has cactus and this specific one is the prickly pear seed oil along with metafoam seed oil, which is something that I love ever since the deep sea water cream from Purito. And they also have dragon fruit in here. It smells amazing. Like after, when I go to sleep with this, my partner is like, oh my God, what are you wearing? It smells so good. Yeah, I think that's the thing with their products. It's like so perfumed, but it's like beautifully. But it works. Funnily enough, I also picked up the day. This is their signature conditioner. This was the mini version. So this was $12 and it was because I ran out of conditioner. Yeah, like we do, right? We always run out of conditioner first. And I was like, oh, I always saw this brand and thought the packaging was really cute. Shocketh, shocketh, shocketh. This was so deeply conditioning. So even though my hair is not as thick and coarse and like frizzy from the coarseness as yours, because it's straight, I can tell when it's frizzy. And this is so deeply hydrating and nourishing and everything like cocooned for your locks hair. But I think what drew me was the texture and how thick and luscious it was without weighing my hair down and the smell. It's got orange blossom, I realize. And anything with orange blossom, I'm all for because you know, wind, I love wind cleanser and it has orange blossom. So I think it's just loving that. Full size is $26. They also have a jumbo for like 60 something dollars. Definitely would recommend you try out the mini if you're not sure. I've come to realize like more so now that because my hair is very damaged from bleach and from dyeing and from styling, it's actually the post shower products that you use that make all the sleek difference where you don't have to even like, yeah, style it. And it's just look for like even conditioners, mm -hmm. styling creams, Color wow is indeed wow. I've talked about this on basically every Sephora sale haul. So it is, this is the dream coat. It does everything Fel says, but more. And I think I'd, I would use these two interchangeably. Like sometimes I'll use this if I want like a super sleek blowout. And then this is more of like a lived in blowout. I would say like the difference between these two is that this is more of like, it's more flexible. Like you can use it to like tame flyaways. You can use it on hair that's already dried to give it more moisture. This you have to blow, like this is heat activated. So you need heat. You can only blow out with this. So that is the difference. I think they both work flawlessly. It's different, but it gives similar results. It just depends on what you want. Yay! Guys, when you walk into Sephora, just bring up this video and just go through our chapters and buy everything because yes, we love everything. <laughs> and if you want more suggestions, all the videos will be here and in the description box listed so make sure you're well researched before you go into the confusing void that is sephora and yeah share your suggestions below with everyone else stock up on gifts for friends yeah they have so many gift sets yeah why is there oh my god why is there fireworks <laughs> this is so weird oh my god was that like ai Generated. I don't know. So we're FaceTiming on like Signal and fireworks just went off behind me. Oh my god, that was so that was weird. was so weird. I wish I got that on camera. <laughs> like and subscribe, join our newsletter. Everything will be below. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.